KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with this motherfucking heat. This notorious motherfucking heat. I mean, notorious is a motherfucking pimping. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me with some comments. Get at me at my email. RealReal81 at Yahoo.com. That's R-E-L-L, R-E-L-L, 81 at Yahoo.com. And remember, knees, elbow, wrists, everything on the back of her motherfucking neck. Hold her down, literally with game. That's what this channel advocates. So, check game on this. I had a uh, little situation that made me come up with this little topic. I was talking to a little fella's mind, man. You know, cool little young dude, man. You know, and uh, he wanted, hey, you know, he asked me a question. Something I answered. You know, something I elaborate with him on. But it also gave me thought to bring forth with a video. Because a lot of the young fellas need to hear this. And you must hear this. Because these are things that you may not know that women do. Or your woman may do to you. And um, he was like, damn, bro. She changed up on me, bro, just out of nowhere. I'm like, how she changed up on you? We know how she changed up on you. So I asked him that. And the people that follow this channel, you already know what's up. You got the game. You got the game to go. But I asked him, why she changed up on you, bro? How did she change up on you? One minute we talking. One minute she's calling me a lot. I mean, all the time. Two, three times, probably four times a day. We banging. Every other day. We doing our thing. She fucking with me like that. So I'm like, okay, are you showing interest back? You calling her? You letting her know y'all, you know, you cool? Don't call her more than she call you, but are you at least showing that interest? Yeah, I'm calling, hitting her up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We talking. You know, all of a sudden, she just changed up on me. Now she ain't calling no more. I'm like, hmm, have you been calling her? Yeah, I called her, but she's keeping the conversation short. Like, she ain't really interested. Hmm. For one, you gave her too much conversation when y'all was talking on the phone. 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, y'all conversating all the time, all the, you know, damn near every day, every other day. Women take that for a weakness, more so like, hmm, he got nothing else better to do but to talk to me. Every time I call him, he's at my every beck and call because he got nothing else better to do but to talk to me. He calls me a lot. Of course, I call him a lot. But he got nothing else better to do but to talk to me. That's a no-no. Always has something to do besides talking to her every time she calls. And even if you don't got nothing to do, you probably chilling. I don't know. Clipping your motherfucking toenails or something. Wave her off. Hit her back later on, a couple hours from now. Or probably hit her back the next day. Who knows? You busy. You doing things. You want to make it look like you got shit going on if you don't got shit going on. Because it looked like that you not just no guy that's just no lump on a limp type guy. that just sitting here chilling, waiting on her call. Like you got nothing else better to do. You got no job. You don't work out. You ain't got no hobbies. You know, you don't really ain't got no goals you're trying to achieve. But you always talking to her. Women will take that for a weakness, fellas. Like you got nothing going on. She'll pull back on that. Another thing. She could be just testing him. I told him. She could be testing him. See how you may handle her backing off for a minute. Because y'all normally got that interaction. That longevity interaction. Y'all interacting so much. She might be just testing you and see how far you're going to go. See if you're going to be the one to break and call her a lot. Or she's going to be the one that has to um, call you a lot. She don't know. But she's willing to take that leap of test just to see if you that kind of fella. Now, 
by you coming to me, obviously you must got some kind of concerns. Obviously you must got some kind of love. Obviously the feelings is there. Otherwise you wouldn't be coming to me about that. You would know how to handle this when you got a woman in that situation. So by him not not knowing how to handle it, he come to me. And which is good. He's young. He's 23, 24 years old. He's young. You know, he, he need to come to someone who can enlighten him on things like this. So, it could be she's fucking with another guy. It was your turn then. It's his turn now. You got to also remember. If you're not married to her, and that really don't ring, don't really don't mean shit. If you're not in a relationship with her, we definitely know that don't mean shit because they cheat all the time. We cheat all the time as men, so we know that ain't that's nothing. Then there's chances she's dating other people, other men. I don't know the way the world is today, probably other women. I mean, who knows? You know what I'm saying? To each his own. But there's a chance she's dating another man. That another man probably got her interest at this time. Not to say she don't care about you. Not, 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 let me revert that. Not to say she don't care about your interests. But right now you got, you don't have her interests. Otherwise she will be hitting you up. She will stay on your heels. Interest will be real high. Interest drop low. It's either something you have done that dropped her interest. Or. There's another person there that's captivating her interest more than you. That's definitely a chance. You can't exile that. Like, that's not there. It's not her family. It's not her children. It's not her work. It's not none of that. It's either you, her, or another dude. So, of course, he kind of don't know what it is. I believe I know what it is. I believe his conversations have backed her up because he's answering her phone a lot. He's talking to her a lot. He's calling her a lot. We don't know. He may be calling her more than she's calling him, but he's calling her a lot. And that'll make her, mm, I don't want to really be that clingy. And I want him to be that clingy because I do got other shit going on. My interest is in other guys. My interest is over here. My interest is over there. I don't want him to take up that space. Because if he come and take up this space, then that's going to knock my shit. I ain't got nothing going. And I don't want no relationship. Which she told him she's not, she's, Taking her time on relationship. And I, you know, he said he's taking his time on relationship. But if you're steady interacting with her like that, she may look at it like you're pushing for a relationship. Even though she calls you a lot, you're calling her just as well. You supposed to allow her to call you more than you ever think about calling her. We men, we don't push for the relationship. They supposed to push for the relationship when it comes to us. So when you find yourself pushing for a relationship, she's going to find herself pulling back. Because in her heart, she know that that ain't what you're supposed to do. You acting real bitchy. You acting like her. That's why I believe she changed up on it. Yeah, it could be a dude. It could be she just testing him. Because she dig him that much. She want to see if he's going to go chase her. She want to see if he's going to pursue her. It could be that. But the way his conversations was. I believe he's very talkative. He's talking to her a lot. And fellas, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be the one pursuing too much. You want to allow her to do the pursuing as a woman. Because that's her fucking job. That's her fucking job. It's like you throwing fake sirens on top of your car to pull over a motherfucker who did 100 miles per hour past you going up the street. Damn, that a great 
he looked like he great hit everything in sight, great kill everybody. That ain't your job. That's the police job. Know your position. And in that situation, his position was to fall back and let her pursue because he caught her with her interest high. That's why she changed up on him. And she will change up on you fellas in this situation just as well. And you fellas that got a girlfriend, y'all at home with your woman, you're not giving her that me space. You're not giving her time to do her. You're not out doing things that you're supposed to be doing, making her wonder what the fuck you got going on. And she going to change up on you too, man. Real shit. It's for you fellas in a relationship while you're married. She's going to do the same thing, man. Yeah, I know you love her. I know you care deeply about her. She's a blossom in your eye. She's your man. You love her. But you're going to run her to another motherfucker and it's going to become his side piece. Because you don't know how to fall back and let her pursue. I don't give a fuck if it take a week, two weeks, a month, three months. I don't give a fuck. She's going to come back around. Remember, this world is round for a reason. It's coming back. That's why she changed up on you, bro. That's why she changes up on you fellas. Y'all showing her too much of neediness. I need to talk to you. I need to text you. I need to be in your presence. I need to see you. I need to be around you. We don't do that here. We don't advocate that here, man. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. Get at me if y'all got any comments. Holler at me if you got any comments. I'm out.